Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Yeezy Knit Runner Stone Onyx. In this video, I will be comparing sizes to the other Yeezys that I have. That way that will help you guys be able to pick the best size fit for you. I've noticed in a lot of videos, people don't really compare. And if you have a lot of Yeezys like I do, you would know that you're not always the same size in every single pair. So I hope that helps you guys and let's get started. I did purchase these during the Adidas 70% off sale and I never had a pair of knit runners. I did want to try them, but I wasn't going to pay $210. So I was happy to snag them for $84. Cop these on the 70% off sale on Adidas. I got them for $84. Retail price is $210. I waited two weeks for these to come. I ordered these on August 6th. I didn't get a confirmation until August 22nd, and then they were delivered August 23rd. I was getting so nervous that my order was going to get canceled. I was on YouTube. I was reading comments, and people were saying theirs were getting canceled. Mine said delayed for the longest time. So I just was like, okay, they're probably going to get canceled. But they finally came and I love them. They are so comfortable. I love foam runners. I have a bunch of them. And I was excited to try these out because I thought they were going to be comparable to the foam runners, just like with a covering on them. But they're definitely different. So the sizing on these, I got a six and a half. And I love that they put that on there so that you can see the color is stone onyx, but it looks more of like a grayish teal tint to it. I don't know how to describe it. I will leave an on feet video so that you guys can see it. I had it matched with my Adidas Slate socks and they kind of matched a little bit but for the video purposes I wanted to have a sock on. I think when I do wear these I'm gonna mainly wear them to work. I'm a dental hygienist and I wear all my foam runners to work but I'm gonna definitely spray these down first because the material I can tell that this is gonna be hard to clean. Like my foam runners I use a cabbie wipe and I can completely get them clean but these I feel like they're gonna give me an issue. These shoes are definitely comfortable. I did try them on. I tried them without a sock. I tried them with a sock and they are comfortable. A six and a half was perfect for me. So let's talk about sizing. I got a six and a half. I'm a woman's true to size seven. And normally Yeezy foam runners, I get a six. I have purchased two pairs of size sevens when I first was purchasing and they fit, but they got bigger over time. So I went down a size to a six and they fit perfect. They're nice and snug how I like them. Now for 380s, I only have one pair and I have those in a six and a half. In 350s, I have those in a five and a half. In the Yeezy slides, I have those in a size six. I do love how this shoe, how it moves and it bends. You can feel the plastic inside when you're wearing them, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable. I definitely feel like my foot is protected in these and I think they would be perfect for working in the healthcare field. You just really have to make sure you spray them down because of this material. Was the price worth it? Paying $84, I definitely think is worth it. I wouldn't pay retail of $210. I don't know, this shoe, I just feel like it's not worth $210. $84 definitely, even maybe cheaper than that, like maybe $60, but I got them. I'm happy that I did. I wish I would have gotten the stone carbon. They're so nice. I love that colorway, and I think that would be my next cop. In the future, I really hope that Adidas will have it together where we're not waiting two weeks because that was crazy. I was over here sweating bullets, nervous that my stuff was gonna get canceled, had me on YouTube researching, reading comments. I don't ever wanna deal with that again. After buying and waiting for the easy pods, I don't wanna wait for anything like that again. That was so stressful. I did create a chart of all my old Yeezys that I have and the sizes that I have. And I'll leave that up so you guys can see so that you can revert back to it for you to pick out your own sizing. I did also cop a pair of 450s. So I definitely will be dropping a review on that and that'll be in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe and stay blessed.